Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to my car builds leaving all the way up to Christmas. Um, this wasn't the car that we done last episode. Um, the car last episode was. Um, let me find it. To be honest, it's not actually in my mind. <laughs> oh yeah, 370Z, that was it. Uh, we made a 370Z last episode um, somewhere here. Where is it? One of these. Okay, this one. Okay, so we. We made that last episode. Uh, very nice car, very stable, it's got the power. Uh, pretty much just the perfect drift car. Yeah, very fun to use. Uh, so yeah, check that out. Um, but onto, there it is, it's pulled up. T37's go very well with the paint. Um, it looks absolutely insane to be honest, so check that out. Um, and I appreciate the support once again. Um, we've got three days left, so not far to go, uh, but I do appreciate the support on this series. Um, but other than that, um, on to what you should put in the comments, uh, just put what car you want to see next episode and the one with the most thumbs up, so if you see one that you like the look of, uh, give it a thumbs up, the one with the most thumbs up will get chosen, so pretty simple, um, Sorry, should be able to do that, that <laughs> so yeah, on to this episode, what car we are going to be using, um, the comment was by Aidan Walker, two cars in a row, um, and kind of slash Brendan Lau as well. Um, they both put exactly the same car basically. A Toyota AE86 slammed, hash, it was like speech marks like that, it was like slammed, um, formula drift style paint, race paints, gotta love the Japanese. Yes we do. Um, so basically a Toyota AE86 um, with a formula drift style paint. Um, and Brendan Lau, he basically um, requested a Driftworks LSA E86, which is just basically an LS powered, um, what should we call it, um, AE86. So I'm going to put a V8 in it, basically. Um, I'm going to put the V8 in the AE86 um, because Aiden Walker he replied to his own comment as well. He said V8, swap it to uh, Mad Sounds. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy Aiden Walker's, uh, what should we call it, um, style. Uh, but I'm going to put the Driftworks paint on it, and yeah, that kind of deals with your boat, huh? So yeah, hopefully there is a Driftworks paint on here. If not, then I'll just make it orange. <laughs> yeah! So yeah, let's get the car. Okay, so there is the bad boy. The, the, the lovely car. Like, imagine owning one of these in real life. That'd be insane. Like, generally would be insane. Um, so we need the Driftworks paint. Now... I don't know if it'll be on here to be fair. Um, so let's have a quick, 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 quick search. Um, what we could put in the description is drift, um, drift works obviously. And hopefully it comes up because this is a very well known car. Uh, the drift works AE86 is a very, very uh, known car. So hopefully the, someone has done a paint. Um, unfortunately, they haven't. But in terms of. Um, the paint it isn't as I remember it isn't too complicated anyway it's just basically orange with the words drift works in certain places um, to be honest that's coming from memory so I don't know if that's 100% true uh, but we could just make it orange um, or we could just put the uh, just a drift paint on um, yeah let's see what drift paints there are uh, just for now uh, but I did have a look for the drift works one but obviously it wasn't there unfortunately but we can have a look, we're still going to V8 it, uh, so let's just have a look for a nice drift FD kind of paint as requested, uh, but I don't think there are going to be any on here to be honest, hard car to paint seeing as you only get to use a certain little section, um, yeah, they're not very attractive, there's a Driftworks one, it looks terrible but <laughs> I don't even know that's what, if that's what it's meant to look like. I really don't know if that's what it's meant to look like. Okay, so let's just chuck that on. <laughs> I don't know if that's what it's meant to look like or not, uh, but let's just do it anyway. Because uh, that yellow swag, we have that swag. Um, so that's on. Buy that. Okay, so that is that. Um, so now all I have to do is V8 it, and that is all the requests basically done. And then I'll just build the rest of the car, and then drift it. <laughs> pretty simple huh pretty simple uh, do I want to leave the auto show yes I do 
But yeah, this car is fucking amazing to be fair. Um, without the V8 swap, it is delicious. Uh, with the V8 swap, it's crazy. Hey, don't be shy. <laughs> Come on in. Pretty Let's much so. Up. I don't know why I went onto cars. That was weird. Um, upgrades. Here we go. Custom upgrades. So what I am going to do first is chuck in the V8. There we go. 6.2 V8 up in this. There we go. Smash that in there. Uh, v 8 and an AE86. Um, Drivetrain swap. We won't have to do that. Um, aspiration. Good twin turbo it. But I think we're going to have enough power. Seeing it's as a V8 and it's 455 horsepower already. I think we've got more than enough power in this. Uh, one thing I am going to do is I am just going to get up the Driftworks AE86 here. Okay, there it is. Basically, the paint is a little bit different. Uh, it's mostly more orange, to be honest. Uh, so, I think I'm going to change the paint after this. Uh, just try and imagine that Driftworks not on the side there. Uh, the Driftworks is lower down where the black is. But obviously, you can't paint there because, well, they make it like this on this game. Uh, but, yeah. I think I'm going to change that. But, for now, it will do just fine. Um, in terms of body kit, it doesn't actually have anything on it. Uh, bonnet, it does have that bonnet. Okay, so rear bumper, um, there's not actually a picture of the rear. Uh, oh yes there is. Okay, it looks pretty stock rear to be honest. Uh, yeah, let's just stick with the stock rear there. Okay, and spoiler, it's just got a little lip. Um, that one, that's perfectly fine. Okay, so front bumper, if there's anything, yeah, like that, that's fine. Uh, so that's all the attractiveness of the car done. It's got a Scottish flag on the top, which um, doesn't go with the paint either, so that kind of sucks. Um, so I will change the paint after this, but you guys get the idea. Um, thinking about going to street tyres here, uh, because there's going to be a 455 horsepower. No, let's go stock tyres. Let's just keep it stock. Uh, but we can upgrade the whips a little bit. Uh, let's go two, three, fives. Let's go full whips on this. Um, on the rear, we can go to two, five, fives. Spot. Uh, I don't even know what I was trying to say. Uh, spot on. <laughs> but that's what I was trying to say. Um, so yeah, onto rims. Uh, what rims does it have? Okay, trying to get a picture. Kind of like a BBS kind of replica rim uh, with some dish. But I don't think we're gonna get a perfect equivalent on here. Uh, so let's just go with like the standard uh, BBS. I think that'll work. Um, unless there is like these. But I can't see because they're black and my controller's not working to turn the camera. So that kind of sucks. Um, but let's just go with those. Um, quite quite similar to be fair. Um, the rim size on this car is very big to be fair. Um, so let's just go let's just go up to 16s. Um, it looks pretty big already. There we go. And yeah, that's all those upgrades done. Uh, one thing I am going to do is change the paint right now because uh, it's getting on my nerves. Okay, there we go. I've just made the car um, uh, quite similar orange to be fair um, compared to the one that it should be. Um, in terms of the drivetrain, everything in here is going to be race. Uh, so go through and put everything in here, race basically. Apart from, watch out for the Storm Island upgrade of the transmission. Uh, you don't want to do that because it will shorten your gears incredibly. So that's that. Um, race drive line can be race and race differential. So that is all the upgrades um, for drivetrain. Onto platform and handling. Um, not very big calipers to be fair. The calipers are really small, um, but I suppose they are 16. 16 inch rims. I can't really expect much else. Uh, watch out for the Storm Island uh, suspension as well, uh, but do the race suspension. Um, and front anti roll bars, we want to go race. Rear anti roll bars, we want to go race as well. Uh, do we want to cage it? Yeah, let's cage it. Uh, the black goes well with that car. Very nice. Um, and weight, weight reduction. We want to go. To race weight reduction it puts us under a thousand kilos. We got more than plenty enough of power on this. Why should it be plenty? Um, so there we go. Let's chuck on air filter and exhaust. 
I want to get the sounds coming out of this car um, a little bit better and I think that'll probably be about it 482 horsepower that is more and more 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 than enough so let's just chuck on the flywheel lose that four kilograms there and I think that should be about it we can see if the cams push it up too far um, 524 should I do it I don't think I should um, 482 horsepower in this this weight that's plenty that's enough that's enough so let's get out into free road and start sliding this car um, obviously this is a well-known drifter so it should be able to drift straight out the straight out of the free road here um, without any tune etc and it does but perfect so let's just jump over to the docks industrial area over here and we can start running our section uh, trying to get this car perfect for that section so gears felt really long pulling out of those pulling out of that um, hub there uh, but we can we can sort that uh, so I've earned 5 million credits yeah are you <laughs> but yeah that car looks very nice in orange to be fair that is very attractive if I do the same so myself Fuck's sake. Ah! <laughs> oh, I, I wish I could look behind me. <laughs> I hit him, so he missed the ramp, and I think he just crashed into the wall. Uh, but, <laughs> but yeah. Let's give this car a run without tuning it. There he is, look, he's still going at the wall. <laughs> what the fuck? So yeah, the gears aren't actually that long. We're gonna have to make them a bit longer. What the fuck? Whoa, <laughs> didn't need to hit that. This car feels so light in the wheel. Obviously, in game, it's low. Um, it's pretty much on the 900 kilograms, so to be honest, I'm not surprised that it feels very light on the wheel. We need to lengthen that gear in so far. Oh my god, that was incredible. I, it felt really long pulling out of the garage. Maybe just gear two is very long. Uh, but yeah, let's they, they, lengthen the gearing. Um, put a pretty much a, a very base tune onto this as well. Um, I've got a feeling that the tire pressures in the front have to come down quite far. Um, the rear seems okay. Gear in. Wow, look how short that is. That's crazy. Uh, so let's just take this up to about there. Should be fine, but we can we can adjust that. Uh, let's take the camber in the front up a tiny bit, seeing as we set the tire pressure down a lot. Um, camber in the rear can come up a bit as well. Um, just a bit of a base tune here. Caster, 5.5. Anti roll bars in the rear can come up a tiny bit. Very soft car. Uh, obviously, um, a lot of people uh, drift this stock power, so you're going to need the body weight um, if you're running a lot less power. Uh, but seeing as um, I don't really use body weight to initiate drifts, etc., um, I should be fine at making my cars a bit stiffer. Okay. So that seems fine. Differential, we can make this 100%, 100%. Uh, la, 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 la. There we go. Okay. So that is pretty much a base tune on there. Should help with the grippiness of the front wheels here. Because yeah, it felt very light steering. He's still sat there. Why don't you just drive around, bro? I think I'm going to have to come down with tyre pressures in the rear as well. Just seems... Ah, oh, too. It feels like it's on ice. Oh wow, I hit that again. But yeah, the gearing is a lot better. The gearing seems on point. I've got to come down in the tire pressures on the front as well. Or I could just lower the camber actually. If I lower the camber in the front, that would probably be probably be fine. If I put it back down to 0.5, uh, we could try that. Uh, but I think I've got to take the tire pressures down in the rear a bit as well. It just feels a little bit like it's on ice. It feels a little bit light. You can feel the lightness of the car. And I, I want to try and eliminate that. So let's take this down to about... Let's go 28.5, see if that's too grippy or not. Um, camber in the front can come down to 0.5. And let's just try that. See if that makes a difference. Hopefully it does. Pulling away, I can tell that it does. 
Uh, the wheels aren't spinning up as easily as they were. Uh, still spinning up though. Yeah, this car is happy sideways. You can tell that it's happy sideways. Uh, you don't have to do much adjustments on the wheel as you can see. Um, watch out for this V8 though. It has a lot more power than you kind of expect. I've hit that barrier <laughs> three times in a row now. I think it's because I don't expect it to drift that far out wide. Because obviously it feels very light in the wheel, so... I'm kind of just not expecting it to carry that far. Um, but I think tyre pressure's got to come down a bit more. Um, I think in the rear it seems fine at the moment. A little bit too much wheel spin for me, uh, but some people might like that. So, tyre pressures, camber, etc. Just adjust them to the, your knees, to be honest. Um, so let's go down a tiny bit in the rear. Um, and in the front, we're going to have to come down as well. So let's go 27.5. Uh, take this down to 25.5. Um, just trying to trying to counteract the fact that this car is so fucking light. Maybe I shouldn't have done like weight rate uh, race weight reduction. And with this extra grip in the rear uh, from the tire pressures, we should be able to chuck this car in a little bit easier. Should be a little bit stable through the corners as well. And it should hold on transitions a little bit better than it is doing. So yeah, this car is very happy sideways. So yeah, I wasn't expecting anything else from this car. Absolutely amazing. Uh, it's going to be one of the top cars again. Like every single car I'm making, they just seem to be, they just seem to be perfect. Um, which is good. Um, obviously, Horizon's easy to tune on. I didn't mean to press that. <laughs> I just wanted to lower um, tire pressure hey there, a little stranger. bit. Uh, but <laughs> I guess not. Maybe I'll buy a car instead. Um, so yeah, let's jump into the tune. Uh, I just want to lower these just to the point where I feel good. Um, so let's just keep taking it down. Uh, Twenty. Let's go 25.5 in the rear. Uh, just the extra little bit of grip we need. Okay, not much tyre spinning gear free there, trying to pull away, which is good. A little bit, I can feel it a little bit more in the wheel, which is good for the front. And the good thing about this engine, um, probably will never bog down in gear free, to be honest. Uh, especially seeing as it's a light car, um, in gear free, it's just not going to have any trouble at all. Um, amazing angle, and it, look at that, that's crazy. Oh wow, I didn't expect it to hold that then, I thought I was spinning up. I spun out then though. <laughs> so yeah, let's, let's reverse all the way to the end, and let's give it one more run, but I think that's perfectly fine now. Um, it's got the wheel spin for like tandems, etc. Um, it's got the grip that you need sideways. Um, very nice car to be honest, I've been pulling this out a lot. Obviously a well-known drifter, so you kind of expected it to be a good drift car to be honest. Um, it's got the, it's got quite a bit of power, so do watch out for that, um, especially for such a light car. Oh, just missed it that time. Oh wow, that was my fault. Sorry. Managed to pull it back a little bit though, which is sick. That car's still sat there. I must have fucked up his AI or something. Uh, but yeah. Very, very, very nice car. A lot of wheel spins, so if you like drifting very long corners, I think you'll be perfectly sufficient in this car. And um, so yeah, what I am going to do now is upload this tune onto the storefront for you. So if you don't want to copy down um, the tune, you can quite literally go onto the storefront. Um, nope, not like that. Yeah, you go on the storefront like that, um, and you press search, which is like the menu button, and you search for Gamertag, which is Kevin Toll, the same as my YouTube. Uh, but what? I don't want to. What? Why? Has it not been applied? What? Oh yeah, because I just. What has happened? Okay, let's just save this. <laughs> save. C really. Uh, let's save this as drift. There we go. So you could just search for gamertag, which is Kevin Toll. The same as my YouTube. Um, same way. Uh, it's spelled no spaces. And I will put it as drift and best for handling. So. 
download that if you can't bother to make it yourself, uh, which I probably would do myself. <laughs> and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. In the comments below, leave what you want to see next episode. And I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.